13 things you need to know about space. This is gonna be great. Here at ESA, the European Space Agency, space is our business. It's a place we explore, heading outwards while also looking back to improve life on our own blue planet. Here's what you need to know about the stuff that surrounds us. Listen carefully, people. Planet Earth, with its air, comfortable gravity, and life, is unusual. Most of the other 99.9999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999
The farther you orbit away from Earth, the lower gravity's pull, so the slower you fly to overcome it. Weather and communication satellites are in geostationary orbit around the equator, keeping pace with Earth's rotation to stay at a single spot in the sky, looking at the same place on the ground. Now that makes no sense. If you are further away from the Earth, you need more speed to keep up with the uh, Earth's rotation. It might look slower in your silly animation, yes, but I think mathematically it is incorrect. Or uh, maybe I'm wrong because flat earthers are always wrong, that's the rule. Earth orbit is only the start. With a big enough push of power, you can escape altogether. This shifts you to solar orbit, free to go to other places also orbiting the sun the other worlds and planetoids of our solar system. Yeah, let's go explore space. The place where no one or nothing can survive. It sounds like such an amazing plan. I think it's worth spending billions of dollars on this. To go into orbit? That takes rocket power. Basically, a controlled explosion in a single direction. ESA oversees a family of launchers maintaining Europe's independent link to space. To shift orbits requires firing much smaller versions of rockets, called thrusters, fitted aboard spacecraft. Why can't we use more of those rockets here on Earth? I am not a fan of flying a plane, but if it would be rocket powered and fly from Europe to the USA in under 10 minutes, I would love a ticket. But no, NASA can go a thousand kilometers an hour in their rockets, but our planes always go slower. And it's getting even worse with these viruses now, and we can't even fly the plane anymore. Before flight, we have to test spacecraft on earthquake strength shaker tables, as well as blasting them with noise to check that they can endure launch conditions. That's why we have more and more female astronauts. I guess they love vibrations and oh f I can't say things like that. Let's move on. Space is also a place where you can be hot and cold at the same time, depending on whether you're in sunlight or shadow. During testing in a vacuum chamber, each new spacecraft experiences extreme hot and cold to make sure it won't overheat, freeze or buckle. I am very sensitive to temperature. I mean very, very sensitive. Space is a very bad idea because for, for space I am a joke. Uh, those temperatures are so extreme. If I look at the sun I will evaporate instantly and if I go in the shadow I will freeze for a million years. That's why I don't do trips to space. I like it between like 0 and 30 degrees. Space is also radioactive, filled with energetic charged particles spewed out by the sun or deep space. To reduce any risk of disruption or damage, spacecraft components need testing using nuclear isotopes or particle accelerators. ESA also keeps a watch on space weather, because solar storms can damage terrestrial power and communication links, as well as satellites in orbit. Radiation is one reason the International Space Station orbits at just 400 kilometers up to shelter inside Earth's magnetic field. Astronauts still wear radiation badges to check their exposure. Radioactivity, another good reason to stay out of space. Most people are pretty sensitive to it. Space is endlessly useful, wait, what? Space is endlessly useful, you just gave me 12 reasons why space is not useful, and the last reason is this. Uh, this video was bullshit people, I am so sorry I wasted your time. Uh, we need to make a better video for ESA. I'm sure there is some useful thing about the 99.9999% space around us, but I can't find any. If you know a good reason, please put it in the comments so I can make a better video for ESA. 
again i am so sorry i made you watch this crap uh, i will find something better to watch next time thanks for being here bye bye <laughs>